We're going to take a look at some video of this dude. Austin Martin should be added to the Twins 40-man roster sometime early next week. A guy who certainly had his prospect stock dropped, but I still like a lot about this guy's game. Uh, this maybe isn't exactly a highlight reel because I'm going to throw in so, some errors he makes in the field just so you get a really complete picture of sort of his strengths and weaknesses. But here we go. Any point, two outs, two strikes. There he goes. Pitch is inside. Throw down to second is on the wrong side of the bag, and Martin steals his first bag here at AAA. It's Richardson. As this one's Scott in the air towards left center field, Stevenson racing over as is Martin, and it'll be Martin in his first opportunity. Yeah, this is a tough one to get that first play on. You're fighting the sun, going over to the gap. Traffic accident. This pitch, high fly ball out to the left center gap. Stevenson and Martin into the gap. Martin onto the warning track, leaps and makes the catch! Here's the tough part for Martin. He's still trying to get used to where the wall is, where everything is. He goes back, he times this perfectly, deepest part of the ballpark, and makes a fantastic catch. One ball, no strikes, the count. Martin goes, pitch is outside, throw down to seconds, not going to be close. It's Again, a great jump and not close on the throw. Pitts, he's given up base runners, high chopper over the mound. Backhanded try by Martin and goes off his glove in the center. And two strikes to count. This one lined and over the leaping Keith into right center field. Good piece of hitting by Austin Martin. In business, uh, for the most part, mom and pop um, organs, uh, businesses that want to establish their business. 30 years uh, of being based in St. Paul. And so the focus of our work Guy who's traditionally been a pretty good defensive catcher as this one a high fly ball down the left field line. Is it fair? Is it far enough? And it is gone! <laughs> We've been looking for the power of Austin Martin. He's been hitting the ball hard and he'll put on the hot dog hat for the first time as a member of the Saints. A belt high pitch and a towering shot. Over the wall and into the Mud Hens bullpen. It's two to one. It's tonight. And short tapper back up the mound, and it'll be his first three hit game with the Saints. This one a bouncing ball towards short, charging his Yake. Underhand second for one. On to first, high throw, and off the facing of the Saints dugout. This will score a run. This ball out of his glove, and this. Sort of hung up the timing. You can see that right there. He just flips it with the glove. And by the time Martin throw, the payoff. This one rips sharply and a nice snag by Martin. Takes his time, throws to first, and that will end the inning. 2-2. Two -two. Popped him up. Shallow center. Martin going out. Center fielder Celestino doesn't see it. Martin makes the catch, and the inning is over. Nice play by Austin Martin. 1-1. This one a high fly ball left field. Martini back, he turns around. This one is gone. Hang it and bang it, he hung the slider and Austin Martin did not miss. That's exactly what it was. Slider left up over the plate and Martin was right on top of it. Gets to wear the hot dog hat. And again, this pitch just below the belt and a towering shot into the Saints bullpen. And deals. This one line and a diving grab by Martin. Times it perfectly, and like you said, that's that's a big one to help out Luke Carl. Top back deals. Cued off the end of the bat, roller pass at third base bag, and that's going to be a fair ball. Nunez will score. Smith and Jigba on his way to second. Here comes a throw. He is out. The run will score. This one drill left field. Well hit and way back. This one's gone! Here, right over the middle of the plate, and no doubt about this one. And again, he's been seeing the ball incredibly well in August. A couple of nights ago, 2-0. High fly ball, left field! Well hit! It is gone! That was loud. And he takes down McGregor again, just like he did the other day. This time a three-run bomb puts him in front. And Austin Martin has been swinging the bat as good as anybody in this ballpark over the last 10 games or so. And he cranks that one out to left. 
So the Saints with an 8-5 lead. And that's going to be all for McGregor. So there's an idea of Austin Martin if you haven't seen much of him on the field. And we're going to take a look at some of the prospect rankings. MLB Pipeline, their midseason list had him all the way down at 20th, which is just crazy to me. Baseball America didn't slide him quite as far, but he's outside of the Twins' top 10. They have him 12th. I don't know if it's because I just didn't have him as high as these other places did, but I still have him 4th right now. Um, I think this uh, kind of swing back has gone extremely the other direction, but I think you know I have this uh, red underline here. His big season at Vanderbilt that really put him on the map uh, was the number five overall pick of the Blue Jays. Of course, came to the Twins in the Brios trade, and you know he hasn't lived up to that billing. I'll I'll say that for sure. It was formerly like a top twenty prospect in all of baseball at one point, and certainly I don't think he's going to match that potential. Um, but I think the, the hate has gone too far, basically. This guy's a really nice ball player. I have highlighted in yellow the season he had at the Arizona Fall League last year that kind of got him back on track. Unfortunately, he had an elbow injury that kept him out until June this season. So that kind of hurt his overall performance this year. But as you see, in St. Paul, had a 387 on on-base percentage, almost as many walks as strikeouts. His slugging was up a lot from... Double A. You see, he slugged 405 in St. Paul. That's not like tremendous or anything, but after slugging 316 in Wichita in 2022, that's a huge improvement. But also, his stolen base rate, 83% success rate. I have that jotted down there. 68 stolen bases against 14 caught stealing in his minor league career. A really dangerous guy on the base, base paths. This guy really can do a little bit of everything. You know, the power is not where people were th hoping it could be, but as you saw in these highlights, he it's not like he can't run into one every once in a while. You combine that with a guy that's great at getting on base, a guy that's great at running the bases. Um, as you saw in the video, too, there is some rough around the edges in terms of defense, but in terms of his physical ability... I think you could put this guy just about anywhere. Though I am happy the Twins have stopped trying to make him into a shortstop. I think that was a lost cause. I've been saying that for quite a while going into last year. Uh, they didn't put him there this past season, and I think that's a good idea. I think that's uh, maybe part of why he didn't hit better in Wichita. Was there that, That's been difficult, and really with Toronto, too. He did not play shortstop in college, primarily. He was primarily he moved around a lot, but he was primarily a third baseman. So that was always going to be a tough ask of him. Um, so it's, I'm really curious to see what this guy's going to do. Again, as I mentioned, he's going to be added to the 40-man roster uh, in the next coming days here. So he's going to have um, an outlet to be on the Twins. You know, if some injuries are going to have to happen, you know, maybe some guys are going to need to get traded away or non-tendered for him to have an opportunity. But, you know, at second base and, and particularly in center field, uh, there are opportunities uh, there in that position in particular. The Twins are trying to get Buxton back out there this offseason. Uh, but, you know, we know the deal with him. There's going to be there's going to be reps available in center field either way. Austin Martin's also a right-handed hitter, so he complements some of the outfielders there. You saw him, a highlight of him playing left field was included in this as well. So um, I'm still excited about this guy. Again, I have him as the number four Twins prospect. Uh, Austin Martin, looking forward to seeing what he does for this team in 2024. Maybe one of the big beneficiaries of the Twins not pushing the payroll farther. You know, if they're not going to expand if they're not going to sign a bunch of veteran guys. You know, maybe Austin Martin has more of a role than we would have guessed. So thanks for checking this one out. I really appreciate it. We'll talk again soon.